Good afternoon, everybody. And um, to, when we planned this Facebook Live, we thought May 11th, it's going to be nice and warm weather, and summer will soon be on its way. But as we look out at the weather today, it is rainy, it's in the 30s, and it's about ready to snow. So it doesn't look much like summer. But we do have true hopes that summer will soon be here just around the corner. So water should be your beverage of choice to keep you hydrated, um, not only during the summer, but all year long. But we tend to drink more fluids during the summer because we're outside where the weather is warm and we're um, outside doing lots of fun activities or gardening or mowing our lawn, whatever. So today we're going to um, talk about how to make infused or flavored water. We know that um, we should all drink lots of water, but sometimes we get tired of just drinking plain old water. We want something with a little pizzazz to it. So hopefully once you learn how to do this, you can add some flavor and life to just plain old tap water. So when you're making infused water, it is really, really simple. You just need a container of some sort. So I brought several different kinds. Um, you could use it just a glass jar you have at home, um, a, just a plastic pitcher. If you're having a party, maybe a little fancier pitcher or a drink dispenser. Or if, if you want to go to the expense of an infusion pitcher, you can do that. So we're gonna make a couple different kinds of infused waters. And um, the, the process is very simple. I have cut up all the fruit we're going to use today. You can use fruits, vegetables, um, some fresh herbs, and um, lot, some water and some ice. Those are your ingredients. So what you need to do is slice your fruit very, very thinly. Um, the thinner the slice, the more um, area you will have on your fruit because you've cut it up with lots more slices. So it will infuse the flavor quicker. You also want to leave the peel on the fruit because that's where the, a lot of the flavor is and the vitamins and minerals. So when cutting citrus fruit, you wanna cut, um, not like you're cutting to make orange segments or um, that, you wanna cut it from the blossom end to the stem end with either a very sharp knife, and this is a blood orange that I'm cutting now, so it would give a, a complete different flavor to, um, to your water than a regular orange would. But you just cut them very, very thin. Um, be sure to watch your fingers and don't get those cut. Also, if you have a um, slice-o-matic or a mandolin, you can certainly use that to get really, really thin slices. So our next step is and we'll use it in this pretty picture so you can see. You wanna add your fruit, and if you're very artistic, you can get it along the sides, but that isn't necessary. You just kinda of layer it in. And the trick to this is you wanna add your fruit, and we're gonna add a little ice, lots of ice. And you wanna make this ahead of time, like the day ahead of time, put it in your refrigerator and keep it overnight, or at least for two hours. And then you add a little more fruit. One of our restaurants here in Lusk has started the infused water um, on their beverage bar. And that thing is way, way popular. They have a huge dispenser, and they do it very artistically. And so it's very appealing to get water um, from that container. 
So our next step is Aaron's going to go ahead and fill that full of water. And then you're going to want to take a wooden spoon and kind of just kind of crush it to get the fruit starting to um, kind of disintegrate and let those flavors start to release into your water. And again, we talk about leaving this in your refrigerator overnight. And um, like in this open pitcher, I would make sure that I put like saran wrap or a lid on it so it doesn't absorb other flavors or odors from, from your refrigerator. And if you're doing it in like a big drink dispenser, so like a gallon or two gallon, um, a lot of times you can layer in your ice, put your fruit mm -hmm. around the outside, Side. and you don't have to do the, this step. We had a luncheon here at the fairgrounds the other day, and the lady serving the luncheon had their water in a big dispenser where they had ice layered on the bottom. Then they made a layer of cucumbers, another layer of ice and water, and it was beautiful. So you can be very artistic and, um, and make this a real showstopper for a party or just your regular meal. In um, an infusion pitcher, it has a cylinder that goes down into the center of your pitcher and it's um, perforated. So what we're going to do is layer the um, fruit into this cylinder. And today we're doing a mixture of fresh raspberries and lemon. And with this cylinder, you kind of have to fold the lemons up a little and put them down in the cylinder. And I'm going to use the, the end of my spoon to kind of push those down a little. And again, with this, we'll fill it up with the fruit. And this will let only the, the juice through that, through the little perforations. This you'll get kind of the pulpy of the fruit, which a lot of people like, some people do not. So again, you can kind of see what, what is your preference. And I know once I quit drinking pop several years ago and I've gone to just drinking water, I get tired of just plain old water. You want something with a little zip to it to kind of perk you up. So. And in my infusion pitcher, I put the fruit and um, we just keep adding water to it for about a week. Um, the berries don't last as long as the citrus does. Over the course of time, but for the lemon, I go out on Sunday and we just fill the pitcher all week long and then dump those lemons and start fresh the next year or the next week. So with the berries, um, you'll get a really nice, pretty pink water with the raspberries. Um, We can add more water, but this one you would put in, it has its lid on it, so again, it's not going to absorb flavors in your refrigerator. And like Aaron said, this one, you just would have it in the refrigerator, easy to pour out, get you a glass of water. Um, I personally like it really, really cold with lots of ice in it. That's how I like to drink water. So. Um, I think the ice enhances the flavor of your beverage. But again, you can mix and match any fruits. Um, some of the herbs that um, do really well are basil, cilantro, mint, parsley, rosemary, and thyme. And again, with those, you want to just do the leaf part and kind of crush those leaves and add those either directly into your um, pitcher or into your infusion tube and um, let them 
leach out into the water. Um, if you're doing things like melon, those kind of things, make your chunks small. So again, that they have lots of chunks and the area is bigger to release those flavors into your water. So cucumber works really well, strawberry, watermelon, blueberries. Again, sometimes blueberries, you need to kind of crush those up because they have that hard protective coating. Blackberries, um, honeydew. So you can kind of mix and match um, what kind of fruits you like, what kind of herbs, what kind of veggies, and, and create your own taste sensation for our warm summer months ahead.